This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic morning so far. It's a very, very nice, beautiful morning this morning. Nice and blue skies. I think it's gonna be nice and warm again today. Uh, it's currently half past six in the morning. I know, it don't look like it, does it? It looks, it looks like it's the middle of the day. No, it's half past six in the morning. And uh, we have left Swindon, we're on the A419 now, just about to go over the M4, go towards, uh, I always get it confused, it's not Malmesbury, it's not Melton, it's the other one, Marlborough, I always get those three confused, we're going to go over Marlborough, we're basically going to Devizes, so we've got to go through Marlborough to get to Devizes, that's where we are going today, uh, and then when we finish tipping in Devizes, we then got to go to Bristol and operate out of Bristol, so I don't actually know what we're doing in Bristol yet, we'll have to make a phone call later and find out. But um, I imagine it's gonna be two or three runs, I suspect. It'd be nice if it's only two, that'd be nice, but I suspect it'd be three. Now you've got to be careful here because a lot of vehicles in lane two think they can go onto the motorway, which is not true, because lane one, like that car over there, look, lane one can go straight over, as in to devices. So you've got to kind of, look. Lane one can go straight over. You've got to be careful on that roundabout. It always happens. I always watch for it. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Let's go. Let's crack on. Go to devices. Um, as you might be able to tell, I'm still recovering from a little bit of illness. Um, I was I was really bad over the weekend, man. I, got, I, I said in my last vlog, I was working for the boss. I come in Saturday, done some work for him, and I felt like utter rubbish. Um, and then we come back, I come home, and we set up the tent um, and the gazebo ready for truck fest, because obviously truck fest is this weekend. And I just, I was sweating like a pig, man. Like I was just, I was just so unwowed. I mean, I felt like I was gonna faint and all sorts. Um, and so that was over the weekend. And then Monday, which I think was when I done my last recording, um, obviously I still wasn't 100%. Today's Wednesday, and uh, I'm still recovering, but I am, feeling better so I'm definitely hoping I'm gonna be okay for, for truck fest that's what I'm hoping anyway we'll have to wait and see two more nights two more sleeps and then uh, then it's Friday I've got to work Friday do a couple of runs I think and then we're gonna to go to truck fest so I do plan on vlogging Friday my morning runs and then traveling to truck fest and setting everything up so that'll be interesting Yesterday, I took delivery of a, um, what you call it? It's a flagpole, uh, telescopic, that's the word. Uh, telescopic flag, flagpole, seven meters. And um, I'm gonna, I've also bought an, a, a new flag, obviously I had my small flag, just two meters by one meter. And uh, it's gonna be on top of the telescopic flag, uh, flagpole. And let me tell you, when fully extended and how to sort of like, your breast area, it's taller than a house. And it is going to be attached to the back of the fender, sort of halfway up. So it will be quite high up, and I'm hoping lots and lots of people will be able to see it. And then you'll be able to find me very easily. Very, very easily. I've also been accused of being too nice in my vlogs, so I apologize for that. I can only ever be a good thing though, right? But I just actually, I just beeped someone earlier, so that, how's that for anger? <laughs> No, um, I try not to get angry because there's no point getting angry. Like, if you're gonna, in my opinion, if, you've, if, you, if you're angry, you're a dangerous driver, in my opinion. You can't get too angry, you need to concentrate. You need to, when I say concentrate while vlogging, obviously some people say you're not concentrating 100% while you're vlogging, but I'm just talking to myself. I've, I've had this argument before with many, many, many people. But I just think if you get angry and you're road rage and you're on the horn, you're beeping, you're effing and blinding, I just don't think you're very suitable to be driving if you can get, do you know what I mean? Nine out of 10 times, it's a simple mistake. Like the van just there near it cut me up. Like 
I was fully aware of it. I was paying attention. I knew it was going to happen. Well, I prepared for it. There's a, there's a saying, what could happen will happen. So you just got to prepare for it, you know what I mean? So I try, I try not to get too angry on the roads. Um, that being said, when I'm a car driver and I'm not driving a truck, I probably am a little bit more angry. You guys are a little bit like my girlfriend's grandparents. I mean, like when you meet your girlfriend's grandparents for the first time, you're on your best behavior, aren't you? And that's basically what I'm doing. When I'm, when I'm vlogging and I'm on camera, I'm on my best behavior. I don't speed, I don't try and get angry, I try and abide by the law. So that's what I do. I've got loads of people overtaking me. Another car are trying to overtake me. There's a lorry coming. I mean, it's 50 miles an hour down here and I'm doing 50, so... Actually, it might, it might be 60, I'm just restricted to 50 because it's a single carriageway. Yeah, I think it's 60 down there, so they're, they're fine. Anyway, let's crack on. We've got to go devices. Uh, and I'll see you when we are unloaded and we're on our way to Bristol. Tipping now in uh, the advises, which is where we just were. We've had a bit of a bit of a problem this morning. <coughs> um, so by the time we got there, it was about seven o'clock, something like that. And um, it's currently now twenty past ten uh, a.m. Obviously, um, you're probably wondering why did it take three hours and twenty minutes to tip. Well, the thing is, on the way to devises um, on the A361, an Arctic. Uh, pulled out it was a foreign driver. He pulled out in front of me. I was doing something like you know 50 miles an hour, and he pulled out, and I had to slam on the brakes. As I slammed on the brakes, I noticed there was a plume of smoke in the back of the trailer, and I could see it. And I could see that the plume of smoke was then stopped smoking. So I figured it was just I locked up one of my brakes or locked up a tire, and I did. So when I got to uh, the place I was tipping in Devizes, I got out and had a look, and I had flat spotted the whole entire. Uh, tire, it, the cord was showing in all sorts, so I've had to get a new tire put on the trailer because obviously it was illegal. So that's why it's so late on in the day. Never mind, so we're on our way to Bristol now anyway. We're supposed to do three runs out of Bristol, which is quite annoying because I'm going to struggle to do that. I'm not even going to be there until 10 past 11, and let's assume I'm out by 12 o'clock, I'm not going to get three runs done. Ooh, someone recognises me, you're on the vlog if you know who that is, <laughs> if you're watching this. Yeah, so um, we've got to go to Porter's Head, we got to go to, where else was it, St Philip's, I think that might be the first one actually, and also a Thornbury. So I'm pretty sure i got to do the St Philip's one, and then it's either Porter's Head or Thornbury. I'm going to have to make a phone call and see what they say. But there's no way I can get all three done. I looked that way anyway. So yeah. Bit of a bit of a rubbish morning this morning because we had a flat well, well flat spot of the t uh, tire. There was the one on the far left hand side on the rear, and then to top it all off, my I got told basically that I couldn't take this truck to Truck Fest because it needed an MOT. But that's all getting sorted. Hopefully the MOT is going to be done. Well, it will be done. It's going in for an MOT. So it's actually going in for an MOT tomorrow. But yeah, I, to be told that I wasn't going to be, I can't take this truck, I was a little bit annoyed, not going to lie. But I am taking the truck, so don't worry. <laughs> All sorted. But yeah, bit of a rubbish morning, never mind. Let's make our way back to Bristol. We're coming up to uh, Chippenham now. We've got to go round Chippenham bypass from the A350 up to, up to Junction 17 on the M4. And then we're going to go all the way to Bristol. So let's get crack lacking and I'll see you when we're loaded and we know where we're going next. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. 
They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, so we're now loaded. We're on our way to St. Phillips in Bristol. Never been here before to this one, so it's going to be new to me. It does look like um, that it's going to be quite a busy road and not a lot of space to park. Um, looking at Google Maps, there's signs that clearly say drivers do not come inside the yard, wait outside and await permission before entering. So I am going to have to park on the road with hazards on. It does look like quite a busy road and not a lot of room for overtaking. So that's going to be great. We're only sort of three miles away as well, so we're not too far away. And also we've got to drive pretty much through the centre of, uh, of Bristol, which I'm not a big fan of because I don't think the lanes are very well organised. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Actually, this is saying come off a Drenton 3. Am I, am I coming off with it, right? Might be coming off, actually. I'm not sure. Just follow the sat-nav. <laughs> um, so we got there for about, we got to where we get loaded, we got there for about 20 past 11. And um, as soon as I turned up, mate your boy there asked me what it is I'm doing. So I said, I'm going to let him out. So I said, um, are you going out or not? No, you're not coming out. I need to come in. Thank you. So I told him what the three uh, scheduled runs were, which was St. Philip's, Porter's Head, and then Thornbury. And he goes, um, you ain't got a chance now of doing all three of them. And well, I said, I know, I know I don't. But it is what it is, I just have to do what I can. So we're doing St. Phillips. And then I, mean, I need to make a phone call and find out what, it, what it, they want me to do afterwards, whether it be um, Porter's Head or the Thornbury one, because I'm not actually sure. Might like, we want the left lane. He's going very slowly, isn't he? We're doing like 30 miles an hour then on that bit of road there. Respect! So yeah, we um, need to make a phone call later to find out what it is we are doing next. And then uh, they want me to drive back to South Cerny to preload for tomorrow. And I can't remember what it is I'm doing tomorrow, but I think it's like Chippenham and Cheltenham and another one as well. Tomorrow is my last full day of work. And then Friday, of course, is Truck Fest, which we're all looking forward to going to. And hopefully we'll uh, only be doing one or two runs and finishing by 12. Depend it depends on what we're doing, where we're going and how long it takes to get loaded and stuff. We might, might only have time to do one run and then go back and preload ready for the Monday. But I am definitely taking my truck. The MOT will be done tomorrow. And um, my truck then will be ready for me to take. So that's all good. I've already told you about the flagpole that we got. That's going to be going up. Um, what else is happening? I can't remember what else. Oh, I'm giving away stickers. So if you do come and meet me, um, I've got 100 stickers to give away. And um, anyone who comes and says hello, you can, you can have one. So I don't know how long those 100 will last. I might sell out, I might not. Uh, it's still a green light for me. But um, I got 100 of them anyway. So they, they are free to anybody who wants one. Only one though. No, I'm not, you're not coming up to me saying can I have one from my mate as well one <laughs> right so I'm going to go because um, I just want to concentrate getting through the town basically so let me concentrate I'll see you when we um, when we're actually loaded again for our next run so we know where we're going right we are on our way now with our third load for the day oh look there's a J&B lorry there I work out of their yard I'm going to flash him yeah, we're on our way to our third yard now, and a uh, third yard, third job. We are going to Thornbury, um, and then from Thornbury we're going to be going straight back to South Surrey. So in case we're going on to the M5, and then going up via Bird Lip, and then uh, yeah, go get loaded. Tomorrow we are going to Hungerford first thing in the morning. Then we're doing a Cheltenham, and then we're doing a Chippenham, or Chippenham then Cheltenham. I'm not entirely sure which. But that's the plan for tomorrow, and then we want to be getting preloaded tomorrow as well ready for Friday ready for Friday 
We've uh, we've had some posts come today, according to my girlfriend, but my girlfriend was not there to accept the post. So we got one of those like little red cards saying you've missed us. Come collect all your parcel. It's my flag. She missed my flag. But hopefully she's gonna go collect it for me. And then uh, yeah, can't wait. I want to really look. I want to look at it. I want to get it open. I want to open it up. I want to have a look at it. I want to see what it's like. I want to fly it. I want to put it up in the air. <laughs> Should be fun, should be fun. But yeah, so we just want to get ourselves onto the M5 and then uh, crack on to Thornbury. So I'll see you in a bit when we uh, when we get back a little bit later. My LED light looks pretty nice, doesn't it? When I'm under a bridge. Sweet! Right, we are finished at Thornbury. We are now leaving this industrial estate and we will be heading back this helps any. I can't see anything from the right because of that tree until it's too late. Got cars on the left going very slowly. Very, very slowly. Come on. Oh, right, now you're indicating. Come on. And we're good to go. Yeah, so we're on our way back now to uh, South Sydney. ETA there is 20 past four. So I'm hoping I can get loaded within an hour and then get back to the yard by six. But we'll have to wait and see on that front. Is van driver gonna let me through? Yep, thank you very much. Prepared to stop if I needed to, but it's just nice sometimes when uh, someone actually lets you out. Window up. Excellent. Right, let's crack on. Uh, let's go to South Cerny. In fact, actually, I'm probably going to end the video here because, again, there's no point me telling you that I'm loading and I'm going back to the yard now. So, thank you very much for watching this video. The next video I record will be a Truck Fest video. So, thank you very much for watching and until, until Truck Fest, drive safe. See you later. Bye bye.